What's up guys? Quoi de neuf les gars? Was ist los Jungs? Cosa succede ragazzi? Как дела, парни? Кя ho raha hai? Adatta da genna ko de minare? Chi ko bhai achi? Da jia hao ma? What's up guys? Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I have a very interesting and important piece of tech which could possibly change the way we all communicate with each other. So this is the WT2 Plus AI Translator Earbuds. They are the world's first AI powered translation system. Now these earbuds can translate 36 different languages and recognize 84 different accents. They can do one to three second two way real time translation with an accuracy of 85 to 95%. So without any further ado, let's just get these out of the box and see what they look like. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a bunch of user manuals and they're in all different languages, including English. You've got a single micro USB charger. You've got two ear hooks included so you can wrap the earbuds around your ear if you prefer to use it that way. And we have two bags of spare earbuds of different sizes to suit. And last but certainly not least, the WT2 Plus itself. So here it is guys. Now this is actually the charging case and you can see some lights flashing. And the lights are not flashing randomly, they actually mean it's charging. And I'll quickly show you what the lights mean. We can see that it's flashing four times. A quick four flashes means 90% charged. A quick three flashes means 75% charged and so on and so forth. And when this becomes solid, it means it's fully charged. The instruction manual itself is very small, concise and very easy to use. And there you have your QR codes for both Android and iOS for the smartphone app. Now on the side we have a single micro USB charging port and that is going to be to charge up the actual case. Now the case itself is made from plastic but it has a very nice smooth coating so it does feel very good in the hands. Now when you pull this apart and they are magnetic you have yourself two halves and inside of each you'll see your earbuds and this can also be connected together magnetically. So a lot of thought has gone into the design. I really do like the design and it can close either way. And when you're done, you simply close them up again and they will start charging. You do have charger pins on each side. So the battery that's inside the charging case shares the power to charge both earbuds. Now, quick mention of the battery life. Each earbud will give you five hours of battery life and the actual charging case will give you a total of 15 hours of battery life. And the charging case itself does support fast charging. So they do charge up very quick. Now let's take them out of the case and have a closer look. So here are the earbuds. I'll quickly describe them to you. So again, you've got this almost ceramic style plastic coating um, going all the way around. So they do feel very nice and premium. Now, both devices don't go in your ear. You have one device for the host and one device for the guest. And you can see which one is the guest one because the guest has a line on top. The actual earbuds have a touch control sensitive part where the fingerprint is. So you're basically going to touch that area every time you want to talk and that depends on what mode you're on and if we flip it around you can see charger pins and the actual earbuds as you can see they're not going to fall out and they are quite comfortable in the ear so as soon as you take them out of the case the green light turns on and they will appear in the device list of your smartphone app immediately so now all you're doing is clicking on home so we are connected and you will see there are three modes that you can choose from so first of all, you've got simul mode, which basically allows absolutely hands-free and natural conversation. The second mode is touch mode. It's basically like a walkie talkie mode. So each person touches to speak and then release and it will automatically translate what you said. And finally, you have speak mode where one person wears the earphone and the other person will hear the response on the actual mobile phone. In that scenario, you could be translating to a group of people and that's when you would use speaker mode. So I'm going to try and test each mode out to see what this can do. So let's start with simul mode. Just want to quickly show you, you've got your green side, which is the host and over here is the guest. We're going to choose a language first of all. Let's just start with something simple. While we're here, let me quickly show you all the languages. So you've got English and this is what they mean by the accent. So you've got all the different accents of English as well. Now let's have a look what else you have. So you've got French and again, so you've got French from France and Canada, Spanish from various different countries. So it's very, very thorough. I really do like this. And you can see there's a long list for Spanish, Portuguese in Brazil and Portugal, 
Arabic also has a long list, Egypt, Algeria, and the list goes on. Okay, Chinese, Japanese, there is only one. Korean, Indo Indonesian, Hindi, Thai, Telugu, Tamil, Vietnamese, Malay, Norwegian, Swedish, Finnish, and you can see the list goes on. So German, English to German we're going to do, and I'm going to put it in simul mode first, but as soon as I put it in simul mode, it's going to start translating immediately. So I'm going to do this correctly. So this is my microphone, which is how you, you guys are going to hear what's going on. So you can imagine two people are wearing this right now. So that's you guys. So we are now speaking in English to German, and I hope the translation is correct. We are jetzt also auf English to Deutsch. So do let me know if the German translation was correct. Hello, how are you today? Hallo, wie geht es dir heute? Ich habe sehr gut. I have very good. So basically it inter interchanges between the two. You say something and then your host says something and it gets translated both ways. So you take turns to speak, basically. So simul mode is where you're having a conversation. Um, the host was English and the guest was German. So you just speak, you take turns to say sentences and it gets translated on the fly. But also you guys can let me know if the German was correct or not. So now we are going to test out the touch mode and it works in a similar way but every time you want to speak they just have to tap their earbud where the fingerprint is and then they can speak. So we are going to try this out. I'm going to again take my microphone off and join them together. In fact, in fact, the guest which is German would be on the table. And I'm going to wear my microphone, so I'm going to actually wear my earbud in my ear. So I'm wearing that right now. So we're doing English to German again, and then we'll try some different languages afterwards. Hello, how are you today? Hello, wie geht es dir heute? So I'm speaking in English, and it's getting automatically translated into German and it's doing it in real time, so very happy with the progression so far. Also spreche ich Englisch und werde automatisch ins Deutsche übersetzt und es geschieht in Echtzeit. So sehr zufrieden mit ihrem bisherigen Fortschritt. Sometimes I feel I need to hire a camera person to help me out. Okay, so we're going into speaker mode. This is the most exciting mode because this means that I can have one earphone in my ear and I can talk to maybe a bunch of people who speak German. So let's make sure my volume is high and let's try speaking something. And this is where I'm going to test other languages as well. So here we go. Hi guys, can you tell me where my nearest cinema is? Hallo Leute, kannst du mir sagen, wo meine nächsten Kinoaugen sind? So let me know if the German was correct. Let's switch languages now. I'm going to do something different. Let's do something else. So we've done German. Okay, let's try some Spanish. So now we're doing English to Spanish. So here we go. Hello, hello everyone. How's it going? I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Hola a todos. ¿Cómo les va? Espero que ustedes se estén divirtiendo. So here we go. English to Italian. If you didn't want to touch your earbuds, you can also press here. Welcome to England. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. Benvenuti in Inghilterra. Spero che vi godiate il vostro soggiorno. Let me know if that was right. Now let's leave Europe and go to an international destination, possibly Asia. Let's try out Hindi. Hello, how are you all doing? I'm feeling very hungry today. What's on the menu? Namaskar. Aaj aap sabhi mujhe bahut bhukha kaise mahsoos kar rahe hain? 
Let me know if that was right, guys. Okay, we'll try something else. Let's try Telgu. Hi, how's it going? I hope the weather there is not too hot. Hi, Ella Jerubutondi. Nenu Vatavaranam Asistunanu. Chala Vediga Ledu. Let's try Japanese. I am looking for the nearest train station to me. Can you please guide me? Let me know if that Japanese was right. And I need to go straight to Chinese now. So we've got three choices under Chinese. I'm just going to choose the first one. And we're going to see what happens. English to Chinese. I would like to order chicken fried noodles. Can you please tell me where this is on the menu? I want to try a bit of Polish. Hello people. What is the weather like today in Poland? So let me know if that was correct. I also want to try Romanian. Let's try this out. So I'm just getting a good mix of languages for you guys so I can get some feedback from you as well because um, obviously I don't understand all of these languages. Hello, can you please tell me how much that electric scooter is? I may want to purchase it. Bună ziua! Vă rog să mi spuneți cât de mult aș putea să scot acest scooter electric. So do let me know if that was correct. And the last one I like to test is an Arabic. And I don't understand Arabic by the way, but I'm just going to choose I'm just going to choose Saudi Arabia. Here we go. Good morning friends. I absolutely want to visit your country someday. So hopefully soon. Sabah al khaira. So do let me know if that was correct. So there you have it guys. That was the very fun and enjoyable to use WT2 Plus. Now I have to say the product works extremely well. The sound quality was absolutely amazing. And also some of you may ask and it's a question that I asked myself. Can you play music on them? And the answer is no. These are only for language translation and you cannot play music on them. Now these also support auto voice detection and auto pickup. You have dual noise reduction ensuring the voice is clearly heard regardless of the background noise. And of course it's very easy to use and set up and works on both iOS and Android smartphones. My favorite mode is speaker mode which means if I go on holiday I can take one with me and I don't need to take the other one out and I could speak to a group or even a single person without giving them a headset. What I like is when you pop them back into the charging case, they automatically switch off. So you're no longer connected and they immediately start charging. If you're looking for a solid language translation system, then here is one of the best options I've seen this year, the WT2 Plus, the world's first AI translator earbuds. And I have to say, they're pretty impressive. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys in the next one.